everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Smarty Pants. So this week we're talking about another friend of the flower and the bumblebee. We're talking about the butterfly. (laughs) So before the butterfly, though, becomes our favorite winged creature, they go through something called a metamorphosis. That means that they go through a big change. They don't just start off as butterflies. So first, they're born in a little egg. Kind of think of it as a baby bird. Birds lay eggs. So that's where the butterfly comes from. So that's stage one. Next, they become a caterpillar once they crawl out of that egg. And the caterpillar feeds and munches flowers and leaves and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually it cocoons itself. That means it kind of spins a blanket around it and in that blanket, in that cocoon, it's growing its wings and eventually it busts out and becomes a butterfly. So I have some videos for us today that we're going to take a look at so that we can see up close and personal what this metamorphosis looks like. Once we take a look at this video, we're going to read a story that will help solidify and answer any more questions that we might have about this metamorphosis. And then we're going to go into a project that will hammer it all in. (laughs) Okay, so let's get that video on the screen I will see you guys soon. Bye. Welcome back. That was our video. Now let's discuss what we witnessed in that metamorphosis a bit further with this quick story that I talked about and then we'll get into that project. So I'll see you soon in my kitchen and we'll do an activity. Caterpillars to Butterflies by Bobby Coleman. Butterflies are insects. An insect is a small animal with six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, like bumblebees. Butterflies also have two feelers called antennae. They also have wings for flying. Butterflies drink nectar and they suck up the nectar with a proboscis, which is like a long straw that comes out of their mouth. There are so many kinds of butterflies. 
but all of these butterflies are cold-blooded animals. That means they can't make their own heat. They're cold all the time, so they warm their bodies in the sun. Butterflies are beautiful, but they did not always look that way. Butterflies start out inside eggs and their bodies go through big changes. These changes are a part of a life cycle. And this life cycle has four stages. The egg, the larva, or the caterpillar stage, the pupa, also known as the cocoon, and adult. That's when they become the butterfly. Some butterflies lay one egg under each plant leaf. Some lay so many. Do you see all of the orange eggs on top of this leaf? These pictures show an egg laid by a monarch butterfly. A caterpillar has grown inside of the egg and after a few days, the caterpillar hatches. It chews its way out of the shell and it eats the shell, which helps the caterpillar grow. As the caterpillar grows, its skin does not grow with it. It gets too tight, like when you get too big and you need new clothes. So the caterpillar molts. It sheds its skin. Can you say molt? So when you get too big, you throw your old clothes away and get new clothes. That's what the caterpillar does. It molts four times. Caterpillar bodies are very different from butterfly bodies. A butterfly has six legs, but a caterpillar has so many more. Caterpillars also don't look anything like butterflies. Caterpillars can have different shapes and colors and patterns. The different patterns help the caterpillars hide from predators. Predators are the animals that eat the caterpillar. The caterpillar grows and molts four times, and when it's done, it finds a place to hang. These pictures show a monarch caterpillar becoming a pupa. First, the caterpillar turns its head from side to side and spins some silk. It attaches a silk button to the branch. The caterpillar hangs from the button and sheds its skin. It molts. And then a hard case called a chrysalis or a cocoon forms around its body. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar turns to liquid. <gasps> the cocoon protects the pupa, which is the caterpillar. It becomes clear when the caterpillar has changed into a butterfly. This big change is called metamorphosis. The butterfly is now an adult and it starts to come out of its case. It hangs from inside the chrysalis. Its wings are still wet and weak and need to become strong. The butterfly flaps its wings to dry them, and soon it will fly away. The end. 
Okay, everybody, let's get ready for our project of the day. Gather your supplies. You're going to need various paint colors, specifically brown, white, and green, and whichever other colors you'd like to add to the mix. You're also going to need a large piece of white paper divided into four boxes or four smaller pieces of paper. You're also going to need some cotton balls, brown paper or a paper bag, or even newspaper is fine too. You're going to want to get a sponge and you'll see in the photo, the sponge has a rubber band wrapped around the middle. And you might want a paintbrush as well, even though it's not shown in the photo. All right, let's get started. Okay, everyone, we're going to start our project. So if you need to take a minute to gather all those materials that we just mentioned, feel free to pause the video and then come on back so that we can get started. Okay, so normally I don't show you guys the finished product first, but that's what we're going to do today because I want you to get an idea of what the goal is and what we're looking at. So we're going to make our own cycle of a butterfly in kind of like a grid. So that piece of paper that I had, I cut it or uh, drew four squares. Now you can use four separate pieces of paper. It doesn't have to be a big piece of paper, but this is what mine looked like. So it started off on this big sheet with a grid. So one, two, three, four, because there were four main cycles. And then in the end, it's going to look like this. So we're going to start with our eggs, go to our caterpillar larva, and then go to our cocoon, and then end with our butterfly. So you can cut, cut it up, use four separate, separate sheets of paper, and then tape them together. Whatever's easier for you. Let's begin. So you're going to start with your grid. Okay, let my red fletcher white myself. All right, twist it this way so you can see, and now I'm gonna angle the camera down so that we can get started. All right, here we go. So box, Number one, it's gonna be the one furthest from you. I'm going to take my paintbrush and we're going to start with the eggs. Let me figure out how to situate you. There we go, perfect. So the eggs are usually laid on a leaf as we saw on the video. So we're going to paint the first square green and that's going to symbolize our leaf. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, there we go. And then next, our cotton balls. So the eggs were white. So I'm going to dip my cotton ball in white paint and I'm going to go dot, dot, and make little white polka dots, and that's going to represent our egg. Okay. You can also just stick the cotton balls straight on there, so you have a 3D egg. I'm gonna get more cotton balls. There we go. So you can just dip it in the paint, and the paint will act as a glue and stick the cotton ball our now pretend leaf square. Okay, so that's the first one. So after their eggs, they hatch and out comes the caterpillar. So still on the leaf, we're going to make another green square to represent our leaf. 
So obviously it might be taking you a little bit longer. You might still be on your first square. Take your time, no rush. Okay. Now if you don't have green paint, maybe you only have the primary colors. So you can use yellow and blue. That's what I just did, because I ran out. You can use yellow and blue to make your green. Okay, there we go. More green leaf. So now I'm just going to outline my square so you can see it better. There we go. So now we can take our fingers and we're going to make our caterpillars. Or you can use leftover cotton balls. Maybe I'll take this one off. And we're just going to do little dots in a row to represent our caterpillar. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, maybe I want more red caterpillars. You can make your caterpillar whatever color you want. I'm gonna make a blue caterpillar. And they're just crawling around on their leaf. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna put that egg back. Okay, and then maybe you wanna make a little antenna for your caterpillar. You can just take a brush. So little antennas, kind of like our bumblebees had little antennas. Pew, pew. There we go. Okay, so first we had our egg. Now we have our caterpillars. And next, these caterpillars are going to put themselves in a cocoon. So this next square, we're going to make brown to represent that cocoon. If you don't have brown paint, you can just mix a bunch of colors together. To make these, I used red and green. And that will give you your brown paint. I'll put that square in. Get a little more brown. Perfect. Okay. So this is where your paper bag, your newspaper is going to come in. We're going to make little cocoons. So just rip off a piece. Doesn't matter what size, just make a chunk, crumble it up, dip it in some paint, and stick it on to make a little cocoon. Let's do it again. So take your fingers, good fine motor, pinch, and rip, crumble, and in your fist, just squeeze it, dip it in some paint, and stick it to the paper. And those will be your cocoons. Make as many cocoons as you want. We had three caterpillars over here, one, two, three. So I'm going to make three cocoons. So one, two, and here's my third one, three. stick. Maybe you want to paint over your cocoons a little bit. That's fine. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. And now for the grand finale. Eggs. Caterpillar into the cocoon. And now we're going to have our butterflies. So our butterflies are going to emerge from the cocoon. So I figured for this last square, we could paint it blue like the sky so that they could fly off. So paint your last square blue. Or whatever color you want, honestly. And now our butterfly wings tend to be really colorful. So this is where all those extra colors are going to come in. So to make our butterfly, I took a sponge and I put a rubber band around the middle. 
So this is half of a sponge. I cut it in half. If you use a full-sized sponge, then your butterfly will just be bigger. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to dip it in my paint. I'm not going to care what colors, I'm just gonna dip. So now it's covered in paint. I'm gonna put it down and press. And now you have a butterfly shape. Let's try that again. And press. There you go. And let's go for one more. Rub it all in the paint and press. Now I'm going to make some antenna. And there you go. There are three butterflies one, two, three that came out of our three cocoons one, two, three that were once three caterpillars one, two, three that came from three eggs one two, three. And there you go. There's our life cycle of a butterfly. So send me pictures of your life cycle. I'm excited to see what it came out to look like, what your butterflies came out to look like. <laughs> and I'll see you next time on Smarty Pants. Bye guys.